How's it going everybody? So in this video, I just wanted to point out a couple of lies that Vegan Gaines has made in his video where he accuses Michaela Peterson of lying. First of all, I'm not really a fan of Michaela Peterson or uh, Jordan Peterson. Uh, I like some of the opinions that Jordan Peterson has, uh, but I don't really follow their, them very much besides uh, whatever happens like with their diet and things. I'm very fascinated with the truth about health. Um, so I'm not a fan of Michaela Peterson, but I do follow Vegan Games and I love watching his videos because they're entertaining. Also, very frequently, Vegan Games makes uh, lies takes people's words out of context in order to misrepresent the things that they're saying. And he also um, uses, he also uses studies that are completely not, like complete nonsense. So in this video, he uses a study done on cats um, to, to show that cats can get heart disease from a high fat diet. The only problem is this study was done on cats with a lipoprotein lipase deficiency. Lipoprotein lipase actually um, it's a very important enzyme you that's required by the body to break down fats um, and a deficiency in lipoprotein li uh, lipase can cause all sorts of problems. Uh, some of the most important things, it can cause heart disease and increases your triglyceride levels because lipoprotein lipase is what breaks down fat so that they're not floating around in the blood. And when you have high triglycerides, as I pointed out in my last study, where, uh, or in my last video, where I was talking about uh, uh, some of the vegans that had heart disease, that had heart attacks, uh, with super low LDL they had. They had LDL levels be below 70, and, but they had triglycerides that were like sky high, like in the 200s. And I pointed out, uh, causal evidence between high HDL, or sorry, low HDL and high triglycerides and heart disease. The thing is, no matter how low your LDL is, if you have high triglycerides, you will develop heart disease, okay? Based on the Framingham study, and I explained it all in my, in my last video, so search that up. Uh, but really, th these are the, the cats that this study was based on. They're not healthy cats. They're cats that were already on the brink of death anyway. Um, I mean, really, chronic inflammation of the pancreas. These are all symptoms of lipoprotein lipase deficiency. And Vegan Games used this as a, an example of why you shouldn't follow a carnivore diet. Because he says even cats who are carnivorous by nature develop heart disease on a high fat diet. But the only problem is the study he linked lipoprotein lipase deficient cats. So yeah, they're going to die pretty soon regardless of their diet. Um, and it does, uh, they do actually, they did actually measure triglycerides and showed uh, high triglycerides, abnormally high triglycerides. And that is primarily because of lipoprotein lipase deficiency. So uh, the other thing is he, so let, let's just start the video, but basically, uh, Michaela Peterson and her dad, um, so Jordan Peterson took antidepressants because his wife was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Whether that was caused by the carnivore diet or something is up for debate. Uh, I don't know if ca uh, ca uh, cancer of the kidneys is just, is just going to pop up within the first couple years of a diet change, but you know, maybe I'm wrong. The point is so. Jordan Peterson was in extreme mental turmoil because the love of his life, his life partner, his wife, was diagnosed with a death sentence, basically, terminal cancer. And so in order to deal with the pain, I mean, he's trained in uh, pharmaceutical medicine, he decided that maybe, you know, taking anti antidepressants will help him cope with the pain. Uh, also, he checked and, and he had to check himself into a mental uh, into a hospital to deal with uh, the withdrawal symptoms because uh, the medication that that they put him on happens to be one of the worst medications to withdraw from and so he checked himself into a uh, inpatient hospital uh, to get the drug out of his system because the drug was causing physical withdrawal symptoms and in this video Vian Gaines says that the reason why Jordan Peterson took 
um, antidepressants was to treat his lifelong depression that that he that he uh, cured with a carnivore diet. But the fact is, he had just started taking antidepressants uh, in April of this year, which is like three years after he cured, he did the whole carnivore diet and cured his depression. And be, and and he did it to treat the to to help him cope with the stress of his wife dying. Okay, when someone dies, when your wife dies, when your mom dies, when someone you really care about dies, depression is a natural response. Okay. Now, go, you know, getting on antidepressants, I don't know. I mean, they'll probably help you. I can think of many different things that would help much better than pharmaceutical grade antidepressants, but the point is, it wasn't to treat a medical a medically a clinical depression. It was to help him cope with uh, his wife dying, okay? And Michaela Peterson admitted that she tried uh, antidepressants to deal with the stress of her dad uh, being checked into a mental hospital or whatever to withdraw from these, these drugs or being checked into a drug rehab program for this. And um, to cope with her mom's terminal cancer diagnosis. But she said that uh, she felt like garbage and they weren't helping, so she got off of them. Okay, and in this video, Vegan Gains completely twists her words uh, out of proportion, and it's just ridiculous. Again, Michaela Peterson is lying. So she did say that her entire life, she's been suffering from these autoimmune issues, including arthritis, anxiety, depression, but she claims that back in 2015, after changing her diet, she is being completely unmedicated. Okay, so there are actually thousands and thousands of people who do treat uh, autoimmune diseases and depression with a carnivore diet, and the the primary reason is uh, the DNA damage and the the effects that can happen from certain molecules and plants that don't actually happen in everyone, but certain people react differently. Uh, and I have videos where I actually showed multiple studies. There's four dietary intervention trials that actually show uh, no benefits whatsoever from fruits and vegetables, from 10 pounds of fruits and vegetables uh, over the course of uh, 10 to 16 weeks um, for compared to baseline. And there is also a study where they depleted flavonoids from the diet, removed all plant foods, to test the effects of green tea extract and they actually found um, that removing the plants from the diet for uh, like three, three months actually increased antioxidant markers in the blood and blood, blood markers of antioxidant status and decreased DNA damage in oxidative stress uh, proven by clinical by uh, blood markers. Um, and they were not even, they found that accidentally. So uh, many people though have actually successfully treated autoimmune diseases and depression on a carnivore diet. I don't even follow carnivore diet myself, but I have found the least plants that I eat, the better off my uh, digestion is. And also whole grains and pretty much anything that's technically a seed. People don't know that, but grains and beans are technically seeds. Um, causes psoriasis for me now what the real causes who knows but uh, you can check out the world carnivore tribe on Facebook there are thousands of people new people every single day who um, either like grandmas and uncles and all sorts of just regular people from everyday walks of life just reporting the benefits that they experience when they tried removing plants from their diet like every single day and this is actually the group what, what turned me on to this it's because I thought that it was crazy I thought I needed polyphenols and antioxidants but then when I saw all of these people on a regular basis for the last year who have been reversing their autoimmune disease they reverse gout which is crazy on an all-meat diet and it started to make me question a lot of things. That's a pretty amazing claim that, you know, you're suffering from arthritis since you were a really small child, anxiety, depression, your entire life, and all of that just, boom, went away from switching your diet. Well, that's a lie. Uh, she admitted in her most recent video that was published only a couple Hey, days. everybody, watch that video. Because in that video, uh, Michaela Peterson specifically says she tried antidepressants um, uh, for like a couple days to cope with the stress of her 
mother dying from cancer. Okay, dying, uh, coping with the stress of your of your mother dying is not equivalent to um, clinical depression caused by a mental disease. Years ago, that she has been taking medication to treat her anxiety. Not to treat her anxiety, to cope with the stress of her mother dying. I'm pretty anti-pharmaceutical. And you okay. guys know why. Everybody watch the original video, okay? I don't want to make this super long, repeating all the bullshit being against going through. Just watch the original Michaela, P Michaela Peterson videos for yourself, okay? Even if you're vegan, you need to see that this guy's lying. You know, follow someone who doesn't lie. Reading at least her specific autoimmune issues. Well, so I'm not really interested in debating this topic because I don't know what I'm talking about. Probably full of It won't eat salt. And they also don't eat fatty cuts right, of go. meat. Lions hunt and kill wild game. That's true. Wild game meats are a lot leaner That's true. than meat from a domesticated That's livestock. That's very true. So why are you calling it a lion diet when you're adding spices to your food and instead of eating wild caught game, you're eating fatty uh, domesticated animals? That's true. That's and true. this is not only a problem for human health, but it's also a problem for feline health. Believe it or not, cats can actually develop heart disease. Okay. So, this is the study, right? Diet induced uh, arteriosclerosis and domestic cats. And it's funny, he doesn't highlight the part where it says, this study will provide the basis for evaluation of the susceptibility of New Zealand lipoprotein lipase deficient cats. Doesn't, doesn't mention, hey, these, these cats have lipoprotein lipase deficiency, which sets them up for, uh, <laughs> Uh, felt like like pancreatic inflammation, you know, inflammation of the pancreas, failure to thrive, fatty fatty deposits in the skin, high triglyceride levels in the blood, which is directly correlated with uh, increased risk of heart disease, um, and and more importantly, increased risk of death from heart disease. According to the best data available, the data that even mainstream medicine uses to diet to to uh, prevent heart disease. Okay. They have lipoprotein lipase deficiency. Read the actual study. The only reason why all these vegans get behind vegan gains and believes everything he says is because they don't look at the actual studies he represents. This is just horrible. Atherosclerosis from eating too much fat and cholesterol. No, from lipoprotein lipase deficiency. You know, people keep telling me I should debate vegan gains and that's going to be really hard to handle because of the backlash from all of his fans. The fact that I can tell, I can just say, all, I could t like point the facts out straight in people's faces, but they're going to believe what they want to believe. Holy crap, you don't see, li like, no one knows what lipoprotein lipase deficiency is. As demonstrated Holy in the study, they fed cats a high fat, high cholesterol oh diet, and they ended up developing atherosclerosis. So cats have not actually evolved to eat high fat diets. What the hell does it matter if your diet has been featured in the main vacations could cure? A uh, cool story. Why don't you show us a uh, case report? People on your Patreon, her dad's mood disorder with this carnivore or uh, lion diet. Well, that is not true. Uh, Jordan Peterson didn't have anything cured with his carnivore diet. He was still suffering from depression and anxiety. And uh, guess what? No. He was not. He cured his depression and anxiety using the carnivore diet, uh, which is very, it's very common. This, this happens all the time. This is the main reason why people follow this diet to begin with. But then his wife came down with terminal cancer. And uh, obviously, if your wife is, is diagnosed with terminal cancer, you're going to freak out. Holy crap, this guy. Like, maybe not you, because you're a psychopath. No, I, honestly, I, I hate... I hate that. I don't believe Vegan Gaines is a psychopath, honestly. Uh, I just think that he is a very dogmatic and cynical. And I tend to be very similar. I try not to be dogmatic, but I am very cynical. Uh, and by the way, I guess that those are uh, dirt bike helmets. I, I also hate how this guy always uh, challenges people to fights, but he doesn't even practice martial arts. He went to martial arts uh, school for like like two weeks. But then he complained because he had gotten uh, injured multiple times. Um, very sad. Like, he's a lot taller than me, but I'm pretty sure I'd, I'd wreck him in a, in a fight. <laughs>
I, I would I but the thing is I need to test that I, I need to test that it's just because I train every day I spar with professional fighters on a regular basis or at least competitive fighters um, this guy is just so injured he can't even do deadlifts uh, but his bench press is 315, which is impressive, especially for someone with that long of limbs. And he's way stronger than Frank Tufano, so... <laughs> Taking medication crazy, to deal with that depression and anxiety. And he is Fuck. now addicted to the medication, and he is currently in rehab. So yeah, he's in rehab because he's addicted to medications that he was put on to help himself cope with his wife's terminal cancer. Okay. So that's pretty much all that I wanted to say uh, because this is fucked up that someone can get on a video like this with a huge following and completely lie about somebody. Um, and their, their fans don't actually read the studies that they reference. They don't uh, watch the original videos. You know, this is a common tactic used by mainstream media and I hate it so much. I would rather people just know the truth. But I suppose when thousands and thousands of people are healing their autoimmune diseases on carnivore diet, especially with all these ex-vegans, uh, it makes people scared. Uh, people like Lane Norton. Lane Norton is scared too, and he has to use uh, personal attacks and lies in order to back his shit up too. And in particular, one thing that me and a lot of these people watching Vegan Games video can agree on is that Lane Norton is full of shit because uh, he believes that as long as it fits your macros, you're gonna be healthy. And he thinks the reason why all these vegans are healthy and everything and they have low risk of heart disease because they restrict calories and they're, they're in a calorie deficit, my ass. Yeah, a Pop-Tart is not the same uh, nutrient composition as an uh, apple. It's not gonna have the same health benefits. It's just ridiculous. Anyway. Um, leave your questions and comments down below. Please watch my video uh, where I talk about uh, a vegan had a heart attack. Or, or It's entitled, Why Going Vegan Will Not Save You From Having a Heart Attack. Okay, the LDL myth. And then watch my other video where I, um, it was like vegan gains destroyed or something, the LDL myth, where I broke down the studies that vegan gains uses on LDL cholesterol and explain why they're absolute trash, okay? And they they don't provide a causal link at all. If anything, they're extremely cherry picked. Um, people under uh, 70 nanograms per deciliter of LDL have like no heart disease, but there's only two people in the in the low LDL group. Yeah, sample size of two compared to the high cholesterol group. Half of the high cholesterol group have no heart disease, and the other half uh, have, have had heart disease. That's ridiculous to compare two people with no heart disease to 300 people. Half of them don't have heart disease and half of them do. That means 150 people out of 300 people don't have heart disease with high cholesterol compared to the two on the lowest end of the scale who don't have any in there they have like low cholesterol just ridiculous watch the video uh holy crap this is just ridiculous it's crazy and to think i used to actually believe all the crap that being gains thought when i was a follower of him then i actually started reading the sources and reading the studies he referenced and i realized holy crap there really is no evidence that ldl causes heart disease at least not the crap that being gains posts all right tell me what y'all think down below and i'll talk to y'all in the next video